He just blitzed it out here yesterday on this opening hole. Hit a driver and had 132 to the hole. Yeah, he took it right past those bunkers on the left. That's one extra look. All right. That was one extra look. Mm. You could you could see that he was not settled in. That no, that didn't look right. Visualizing. I but think on the same page. Yeah, I think it's tremendous. Now Roy from the right hand rough. He's got a pretty clean lie, but big pine tree out in front. 169's the number, say. So I think we're looking upstairs and hard. You, know, you can see that he was trying to stabilize the face at impact and good clean contact. When you drive it in the right trees with a whole location to the right, you just do not have a much much of a chance of putting it on the proper level. <laughs> That's it. I knew I had it close. Now, McElroy, really good lie in that rough. A little unfortunate with the, yeah, a little unfortunate nestled down here in a real thick clump, playing all the way back up the hill. Yeah, it's just a bit of pot luck, really, what you get. You can get some decent lies and then... The hands on the hips and were shaking his head and then was a little animated after the contact was a little heavy. And now he's got that one up the hill that is very slow into the grain. Well, just outside 30 feet and when you make a mistake we, we saw him make mistakes yesterday and then he followed him up with mistakes and he ended up making two double bogeys said he needs to clean that up so do a little damage control here work on the pace of the putt walk away with no more than five certainly a good effort still still has length you know even with the injuries and, and everything that's gone on as Rory taps in for his bogey he still has really good length and uh, now that uh, his putting's a little bit better Paul Casey has a chance to win the FedEx Cup bogey and Dustin just made his second bogey of the week now to the tee at 15 McElroy up in the air and that's the smart play just left of the flag if it fades a little bit great if it goes straight perfectly fine trying to cut it and did not McElroy he he can make a little bit of a move uh, you get past the 15th hole this part three you have a couple of holes that you might be able to do something on and with his length at 18 he can easily easily reach that par five and two and have a chance for eagle so you just kind of look at who's leading you have dustin at seven if he could somehow squeeze it to minus three then you're in pretty good shape going into the weekend He went out in the 38. He's had a couple of birdies on this back nine, and uh, we know he had a, a stretch of birdies yesterday on this nine. Had two stretches, three yeah. on the front, four, four on, on the, the back. back. So he needs to get this putter to light fire, and who knows what might happen. Looks very rigid to me. Yeah, I think there's a lot of tension in his shoulders and uh, upper arms to me. I'd like to see a little bit more relaxed posture at address. I'd like to see a quicker routine. Mm. Make it more reactionary. You know, you see the putt, you feel it, you know what it's going to do. Get it started sooner. It's like a baseball pitcher that continues to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball. 
look for a different sign. Nothing's going to change. That plate's going to stay there. You just need to hit the proper corner. And I, and I think that's what players on the PGA. He wanted to. And waiting on the tee, McElroy wanting to know, is it clear? Is it not clear? You're going to give me the sign? They better scuttle out of the way or they're going to get decked. Well, it does get aggravating from time to time. When you're ready to go, when it, when it clears, you can see the players in front of you move on. You're ready to go. And uh, this is a tee shot that could not set up more perfectly for Rory than what this one does. And right here... That is target for him. Pretty handy. <laughs> that, is that is money. He flew it past perfect. the down slope. That is perfect, Bill. Take a look. You can see aimed a little bit to the left, but this club, he's always going to keep the club in front. And as he takes the club back, I'm going to show you what I mean. Arms, shoulders, center of the chest. He always keeps it outside. And then at the top of the golf swing, the left wrist, the club face in perfect line, the shaft pointing straight down the target line. And then you'll see the arms drop just ever so slightly. They'll drop just a little bit down. Start the down, so they drop down, the right arm goes into the right side, and then the explosion, the explosion of those hips is what creates that massive amount of club head speed. And that tee shot was absolutely launched. Yeah, you cannot hit it with any brain to where the flag is today, so not easy to get it below the flag. Now, Rory. Pretty poor shot to get it to here, and this is looking very hot. Needs some spin, but out of that first cut, Brian just couldn't get any grip on it. He had just 208 left for his second and kind of hit the right field flare. And so McElroy a little out of sorts here on the closing hole. Well, that's disappointing after that magnificent drive. He couldn't walk down there and place it any better, Brian. We've seen a lot of great drives at, at 18. A lot of very exciting second shots, not all of them turning out good. Teen and McElroy for birdie. Downhill and left to right, and he's been fighting a little bit of a block with a putter, so this won't suit the eye here. Oh, and a little frisky there. Wow. And that's the, been the issue with McElroy. He's hit some good shots, but then... After he hits some poor ones, and he compounds the error. Now Rory with the comebacker for par. <laughs> Matches Casey step for step. Also even par 70. Also into the clubhouse. Heading into the weekend at two under. They may play together again tomorrow. And you're in the top three, so does that kind of speak to how tough this course really is? Yeah, it is. It's playing tough this week. I think the rough is just a little thicker, a little longer than it has been in the past. Um, but yeah, I mean, even though I, I feel a little disappointed with, with how I've played, but it looks like everyone else is, is feeling the same things out there. So um, yeah, it's playing tough. I mean, there's a couple of guys that are going low, but I feel like if I can improve in, in a couple areas over the weekend, I still have a chance. Yeah, 7 of 14 fairways hit today, 8 of 14 yesterday. So is that kind of what's been your game plan so far, is just, you know, doing well off the tee? Yeah, um, yeah, I've been taking driver a lot. I think with some guys might lay back a little bit, but I, I feel like I can be aggressive off the tee, especially with, with how I have been driving it the last few weeks. Um, but when you miss fairways here, you make life really difficult for yourself. So I need to start to try and hit a few more fairways and definitely hit more greens. I didn't hit many greens today, so I'm going to go work on my arm play a little bit over at the range. Well, we'll let you go do that then. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Back to you guys.
Rory McIlroy tied for third right now. Taryn, thank you. The bad news is that's six shots back. There's the start that he was talking about, Gene. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's not good. And, and we saw him have strings of birdies yesterday after a couple of disastrous holes. So just really up and down. And, and he's definitely fighting uh, the momentum. Gets on the bad momentum, it keeps going, and then all of a sudden he can switch it around and, and get it going back the other way. Just needs to eliminate.